Why don't you start by telling me about these dreams you're having? Once I steal the ball from the other team, I'm going to do a crossover dribble and pass it to Tristan. Why pass it to me? Sean's our best player. Uh, that's perfect. I mean, they're going to expect it to go to Sean. Will they, Sean? Yeah, I mean, I know Tristan can do it, but I still don't get why we're here. I haven't touched a basketball since we won state champs last year. Well, we're here because we like to play basketball. You're here because you have some unfinished business. Enough gossip, all right? Let's play the game. Everyone put your hands in. Sean, put your hand in. Are you a part of this team or not? Let's make this one count, boys. Go team! One, two, three, go team! Wait, Eric. What's my unfinished business? officially over now, Mom. It's summer break. No shit, Sherlock. Hence why I'm on my way to pick you up and bring you home. You wouldn't have to if I could have brought my truck up. You know freshmen can't have their own car. But you'll be able to have your precious truck next year. I just don't like inconveniencing you because of work. And then you and Hayden have to go pick up Molly tomorrow. Cut the crap. You miss your truck and you're having separation anxiety. I swear you want to see that thing more than you want to see me. Mom, well, of course I want to see you. It's just... It's Dad's truck, and that's all I have left to remind me of him. I know, honey. I just like teasing you. All your girlfriends were so jealous of how much better you treated that thing instead of them. Now, are you all packed? Because I'll be there in an hour, and I expect you downstairs with all your boxes. Uh, yep. I just gotta pack up the last essentials. You're lying. I can tell. I bet your roommate's all packed. He's already gone, Mom. His mother came and picked him up yesterday because she couldn't wait to see him, unlike you, who wanted to wait another day. And I'll leave you there all summer now, just for that. Love you, too. I love you, Sean. Now go pack up quickly. You got 55 minutes left. All right. See you soon.
Can I give you a ride there, cutie pie? Oh, I'm actually waiting for my mother. She was supposed to be here like 30 minutes ago. Oh, maybe she knew that you wouldn't be here on time and stopped to get herself an iced caramel latte. Huh. Yeah, that does sound like my mother. Always putting her iced coffee drinks before her own kids. Ah, that's strike two, mister. You sure you want me home? Of course I do. I don't want you to ever leave. Well, next year, since I'll have my truck, I'll be able to make surprise visits. Oh no, you're still gonna have to call first. I'm enjoying having the house so much to myself. And two out of my three kids away at school. Yeah. Mom, I don't even want to know. Hey, get your mind out of the gutter. Start loading the truck. You're gonna let me drive home, right? I didn't think I had a choice. doing here? You didn't think I was gonna miss my best friend coming home, right? You're the last of the gang to finally come home. You can make it special. You think you're the team captain and all. Don't tell mom, but I actually missed you. Just a little though. Hey, stranger. Hey, Elena. I can't tell you how excited I am to see you guys here. Who set this up? Your mom did, man. She lured us here with that amazing strawberry shortcake. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. So why don't you guys finish unpacking the truck, and I will start cutting up that shortcake. Sounds good to us. Can we see the TV? It's really hard. Do we have the old one? Oh, no, we don't have the old one. What? Boomerang. Right. Neanderthal? The red shit every single time. Don't worry about that. Oh, no, I need no. No, you're... Short point out in a second. Banana, bitch! <laughs> well, what guy am I? You're the guy who just got dropped off the whole map, dude. Oh. You're coming to the party tonight, right? What party? Oh shit, my bad, bro. Yeah, party in my house tonight. The whole team will be there. Way to go, dumbass. I told you to sell them last week. Your parents letting you throw a party? Well, they just think it's you guys, not the whole team. But they are at a funeral out of state. Won't be back until tomorrow. Well, not the whole team. You didn't invite James, right? Nope. That fag's invitation got lost in the mail. Ah, sort of mentioned it to him yesterday. Are you shitting me, bro? I didn't know you didn't invite him. I'm telling you, my man, you have really got to work on your communication skills. Why wouldn't you invite him? Cuz, man, he, he's a shit player. I'm not sure how I made the team. Plus, he's a queer. I don't want him checking me on our swimsuits and whatnot. How do you know James is gay? Yeah, did he ever officially come out? I don't know, but like, I swear he has to be. I heard his dad gets drunk and beats him. Yeah, I heard his parents disowned him. You guys are crazy, man. Y'all don't know shit. Well, Sean, doesn't James live next door to you? What have you heard? Well, I've been home for all of an hour, and you've been with me the whole time, so what do you think? True. <laughs> so you down for tonight? I was able to score some beer. Sure, you keep your voice to my mom's right in the kitchen. And I got us some hookers and cocaine. <laughs> you are unbelievable, my man. 
Okay. I'll see you at the close. Bye. Hey, Mom. I know you wanted to do dinner tonight, but Kyle just told me about this small party he's having with the whole team at his place. This isn't how the whole summer's going to be. You and your friends partying? No, it's not. I promise. It's just... This is the first time the whole team's going to be together since state championships. I just want to make an appearance. Please? Okay. As long as you're home tomorrow night, Molly will be home. I promise. Oh, if the whole team's going to be there, does that mean James will be there too? Uh, I mean, I guess he was invited. Well, don't tell the other boys, but James's parents are going to get a divorce. Really? Yeah. Their arguing's been getting worse. Sometimes they even wake me up during the middle of the night. What are they arguing about? James's father is an alcoholic. And apparently his mother has more visitors than Disney World. And poor James has to listen to them argue every night. Wow, that's awful. Well, maybe you could keep an eye on him, see if he needs a friend. Yeah, I can do that. And that is why you are my favorite child. Just don't tell Molly or Hayden. I won't. And don't drink any beer. And if you get a hooker pregnant, you're gonna have to marry her. Fun? Yeah. I missed you guys. Did you miss her? Elena? That sort of. I mean, I miss all of us hanging out together like this. No, man. Did you miss her? Like, being in a relationship with her? Honestly, I haven't thought about it too much. So, did you meet anybody up at that fancy university you went to? I mean, that's why you guys broke up, right? So you could talk to other people? No. We broke up so I didn't have to stress about making a long distance thing work. Mm. And, no, I didn't date anyone else. I kept busy with classes and such. I see. Are you gay? No. Why would you ask me that? <laughs> Come on, man. We've been best friends since we were five. Look, you, <laughs> you let a beautiful girl like Lana slip right through your fingers, and you're telling me you didn't miss her not once? Come on, man. Oh, and there's also the fact that you've been checking out James all night. I, um... Look, look, man. This does not change anything between us, all right? We're best friends, okay? Um, I mean, I'm not going to tell the other guys. I'm really not sure how they'd handle that, but... I'm not gay. Dude, seriously, it's okay. No, I'm telling you, I'm not gay. My mom asked me to check on James because his parents are getting a divorce. I'm trying to think of a way to approach him. Iron Man, whatever you say. It's the <clears> truth. <throat> Look, would I ever lie to you? Would you lie to me? <laughs> really? Nah, man, I guess not. Besides, who's to say James is even gay? I think he's just socially awkward. Yeah, maybe. Really? Hey, Sean, what are you doing this summer? Don't really have any plans. Um, probably go to the beach and hang out with my family. Molly comes home tomorrow. 
Whoa. Your sister Molly is so hot. Kyle, you're such a pig. Inappropriate, no. Hey, James, um, what about you? What about me? Do you have any summer plans? Well, um, not really. No. Uh, the beach sounds nice, like you said, but, um, I don't really have anybody to go with. Uh, I don't want to hang out with my parents. They're getting divorced, though, finally, which is nice. My dad's moving out next week. He just got an apartment, so... And then my mom is just so back and forth between, you know, selling the house and moving. It's like, I don't even know where I'm moving to if I'm even moving at all. It's like, it's like my entire summer plan is, is you know, just being leveraged between two people that I really want me, but don't actually want to spend any time with me. It's like... Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I guess I just needed to vent. James, man, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Nah, look, it's, um, that's cool. I, uh, I didn't mean to bring down the mood. Um, thank you, Kyle, but, uh, I think I'm just gonna, just gonna go. Later, man. Hey, James, you don't have to leave, man. Right, Kyle? No, I, I guess not. No, you can say, dude. Uh, look, it's, um, thanks, but, you know, it's getting late. I don't want my parents to have to have another reason to argue, so... I'll go with you. I mean, um, we live next door to each other, so I'll just walk home with you. Okay. I will hit you guys up tomorrow. Thought you had a truck. My mom's car's in the shop, so she has to use it. It's not really my truck anyway. It belonged to my dad, and when he passed away, my mom just sort of let me have it. Yeah, man, I'm sorry about your dad. I guess I can't really complain since both of mine are still alive. That's fine. We all have our rough patches, but my friends helped me get through it. So why are you here? What do you mean? Why are you walking home with me? We barely even talk. I mean, outside of games and team parties, you don't even acknowledge me. I'm your next door neighbor. I don't even get a nod on the street. I'm sorry. I guess I just didn't know what to say to you because I don't know that much about you. I was surprised to see you on the basketball team. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the rest of the guys were too. I know how they all feel about me. I hear the shit they say. If you know all that, then why do you still hang out with us? Because it's better than being at home. And at least, you know, while I'm there, they pretend to be nice to my face. Good escape from reality. You know, not like the rest of the guys, right? What makes you different? I don't make fun of anyone. I try to be respectful and kind to everybody, you know. Treat people the way they want to be treated. Look, that's all great, but you could have made a difference. What do you mean? You were class president, prom king, and captain of the basketball team in the same year. You had so much influence over the entire student body, you didn't do anything about it. I mean, if you, any, if you saw any of your teammates say something homophobic or fuck with some book nerd, you didn't do anything. Didn't want to tar your image. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. All right, look, wait. I'm sorry too. I put this wall up and anybody that tries to get over it just gets the backlash and that's not fair to you. I can see that you're trying and I'm sorry. That's cool. I got it. So, which parent would you rather live with if you had the choice? I mean, I guess I'd say my mother, but that's mostly just because she has the house so I'd get my own room. My dad moved into a one bedroom, so if I go with him, I get the couch. That sucks. Yeah. I mean, I look forward to see what the summer brings, but I'm mostly just excited for fall, because then I go back to school, and this is all over. Well, I know this might not mean like much to you, but if you ever want to do anything at all, or if you ever want to hang out this summer, you can call me anytime. I might just take you up on that. 
Okay. Cool. Well, we're here. I guess we are. Look, uh, thanks again for walking me home. You know, letting me vent. I'm sorry for blowing up on you. I guess it's just some built up tension or something. It's cool, man, really. So I'll, uh, I'll hit you up sometime. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, cool. Good night. Night. That explains why he's here then. Who? I don't see anyone. Go have a look. Hey, you made it. I don't understand what's going on right now. You don't have to. Just understand that we're here. Together. Alone. It's almost noon. I've been here for like two hours already. They really slept in that light? Yeah. <laughs> but Mom said you were at a party last night, so I figured you were sleeping off the alcohol. I didn't drink at all last night. Just had a hard time falling asleep. What do you mean? To tell me college life hasn't corrupted you yet? Not in the slightest. Sadly, I believe that. Mama's boy. <laughs> oh, I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> So I heard you got a welcome home party and a strawberry shortcake yesterday. Yeah, that's really nice. Further proof that your mom's favorite, which means I get to torment you. Wait, wait, stop. <laughs> Come on, you're down unless you want to do it yourself. And she still does your laundry? Perks being the favorite. You guys are fighting over who is my favorite child. It's Hayden, because she's helping me bring in the groceries. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> I'd have to throw myself in front of a train. Okay, first, let's go over some parameters. How many people can I hire? Uh, none. So what's going on with you and Lena? Why does everyone keep asking me that? Because I need gossip. Take it you're not getting back together? No, we're just staying friends and that's it. Jeez, okay. <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> Is there someone else? No. I mean... There's someone that I like, but I don't know. Someone up at college? Mm, no. Wait. 
You're just baiting info so you can play Sherlock Holmes. I'm not telling you anything else. What? Come on. What what kind of big sister would I be if I didn't pry into your life? Mm. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, when my parents start arguing, I put on headphones and tune them out. I must have fallen asleep. But I'm okay. Thanks for checking up on me. Yeah, no problem. They were pretty loud last night. You even woke me up. Sorry about that. The cops have been over for noise complaints before. Doesn't stop them, though. It should all be over in a few days. No, well, that's good. So I was wondering if I could take you up on that offer to hang out? Yeah, that'd be great. When were you thinking? Uh, do you want to come over now? My parents are both gone. Yeah, I can come over now. Mm, dinner's in an hour. Mom will kill you if you miss it. Shit. Hey, James, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about a family dinner we have in an hour. My sister just got back from college. Uh, can I come over afterwards? Maybe like 7? Yeah, that's totally fine. I'll see you at 7 then. Awesome. See you then. I haven't seen you this excited in a while. Just a friend I've been looking forward to hanging out with? Yeah, I know who James is. I do live here, you know? He's been our neighbor for like eight years. Since when have you been friends? Mom asked me to check on him since his parents are getting divorced. I don't think he really has any friends. I see. Hey, James, I am so sorry. Dinner went longer than I thought. My mom has a silly rule about no phones at the table because it's family time. And it's I fine. Wasn't... I get it. My parents both just got home and started arguing as soon as they walked in the door. That blows. Um, we can go back to my place. My mom and my sisters are there, but they went not like... Uh, nah, I figured we could still hang here. I got a pool around back. We can go swimming and my parents aren't going to bug us. Okay, cool. Um, I just need to go find my bathing suit. I don't think I unpacked it yet. It's fine. Just swim in your underwear. Follow me. Okay. <sighs> Not as good as Kyle's, but it's still something. Water shouldn't be too cold, hopefully. Coming in or what? Yeah, I'm coming in. You gonna take those off too or just swim in them? Here, I'll turn around so you're not so shy. You know, I've seen you naked in the locker room before. Yeah, but that was like a year ago and there were 20 of us doing the same thing. What, you think I'm gonna judge you? Oh, no. You probably believe all those rumors about me. No, it's not that. It's, um, I'm just a little shy about my body. Why? What do you have to be shy about? You look good. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. Are the rumors true? Would it matter if they were? No, it's just, um, I guess I was more curious. Oh, why? So you go back and tell all your friends? <sighs> Sorry, no, that's just the defensive part of me coming out again. It's cool. Let's just forget I ever asked. <laughs> when your dad died, how did it feel? Like, I know that you were upset, but how does it feel to only have one parent? It was hard. It was hard on all of us, especially my mom who lost my dad and had to raise the three of us. And after the initial shock of his death wore off, Molly and I decided that we had to step it up and help look after Hayden, who was only 11 at the time. But gave us a purpose to push forward. Look, I... 
I know that losing your dad to like medical stuff and losing him to a divorce are two different things, but it still feels like I'm losing him. Like he's dead to me. You know, what's to keep him talking to me or even wanting to see me? I'm over 18. He's not obligated. I understand. I get how it can feel the same. I guess all I can say is take it one day at a time and take each battle as it comes. You can't fix everything in a day. I just got so much on my mind. With the divorce? Well, that. And other things. So much going on, I don't even know where to start. You know, you can talk to me about anything, right? And I swear it'll stay between us. Hey, James, are Fuck you out here? <clears throat> um, I should get home. It's getting late and I don't want my mom to worry. Wait. Sean! Sean, I just wait. have to go. Please, you cannot tell anybody. I won't, I promise. Why are you running? Because I have shit going on in my head too and I can't figure it out and I don't know what to do. Look, why don't we figure it out together? I like you, James. I like you a lot and that's why I always ignored you because I didn't know how to talk to you. I know. Kinda guessed. <laughs> Look, why don't you stay the night? Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. We're not in bed together. I have a blow-up mattress we can put on the ground. I mean, that way we can get our shit out and maybe figure out what's going on in our heads. Honestly, you'd be doing me a big favor too. How so? Because if you're over, my parents won't have an excuse to drag me into their fight. Please? Okay. Cool. I think I love you.
guys have a good time? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just allergies. Sean, look at me. You look like crap. You're not coming down with something, are you? Maybe. Well, go take a shower. Maybe you'll feel better. Okay. <laughs> Hope it doesn't get us all sick. Go catch a movie. Do you want to come? No, thank you. You feeling any better? No, I don't feel good at all. Please don't come near me. Can I get you anything? Just leave me be. I just want to lie here. There isn't anything else going on, is there? I said no. Please just leave me alone. Please. How was the movie? It was cute. I love Sandra Bullock movies. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to catch it when it's on TV. The previews looked really good. No appetite, hon? Not really. No problem. I'll wrap it up for you in case you feel better later. Hey, you know the rule. No cell phone at the table. Sorry. <sighs> Who the hell can that be? Who calls a house phone? Not even grandma uses the landline anymore. <laughs> you feeling any better? Hello? Not really. Yes, hi, James. No, I'm sorry, he's not feeling well. I'll have him give you a call back. That was James. He was looking for you. I told him that if you'd call him back later on if you were feeling better.
sir? Yeah, he said he's been trying to reach you since yesterday. Um, do you want me to tell him you're not feeling well? Um, no, no, I'll come down. I just I need a shower. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like you broke a fever. Yeah. All right, I'll tell him you'll be down in a minute. Bring down those sheets, I'll wash them. Okay. Mom says you've been sick? Yeah, just not feeling great. I mean, you don't have to play if you don't want to. That's fine. I need the distraction. Distraction from what? Is anyone else from the team going to be there? Yeah, yeah. Um, Tristan, Kyle, Brandon, and... Uh, no James, right? No, but I mean, I can invite him if you want me to. Yeah. I mean, we'll technically have an odd number of players, but... It's fine, I was just wondering. So, what happened on that walk home after Kyle's party? Nothing. Nothing happened at all, we just walked home. You know, it's a shame about his parents getting divorced, man. It's really nice of you to be his friend, man. We're not friends. Hey, speak of the devil, yo, James! Hey, <laughs> I'm not feeling good all of a sudden, I'm just gonna have one. Hey, hey, Sean, where are you going, man? Uh, hey, good to see you, man. What's up, dude? What you been up to? Ah, uh, you know, I'm just out for a morning run. My parents are never ending, so I had to get out of the house. Yeah, I, um, I can't even imagine, man. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's all good. I was trying to get in touch with Sean, but he uh, doesn't want to seem to call me back. <laughs> I mean, we're about to go shoot some hoops if you want to join us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I will definitely come play. I just, um... Hey, look, man, do you mind if I just get a minute alone with Sean? Yeah. Yeah, totally, man. Take all the time you need. Hey, uh, I'm gonna run up to the courts. I'll catch up with you guys when you're all done. Uh, no. All right? Eric, please don't go. Yes, dude, believe me, it's cool. All right? I'll catch up with you guys in the later, right? All right, see you, man. I just want to talk. We have nothing to talk about. Look, just give me a couple minutes. You can go join your friends. I won't even come. Fine. Let's go over here where nobody can hear us. Whatever. Why have you been ignoring me? What do you want? I just want to make sure you haven't been telling anybody about what happened. Yeah, why the us. fuck not? You do realize I have all the leverage here. What do you mean? If I could tell everybody about what's happened between us, and then everyone, and I mean everyone, will know that you're a fag. Yeah, and then you'd just be outing yourself in the process. Do you really think I care? I could give a fuck at this point. Those guys can know about me. I mean, hell, they already think that about me, but you... Nah, I know this matters so much more to you. I mean, just think about your loving family. Your sisters, Molly and Hayden. I mean, imagine what Molly would say. And what, how everybody would treat her once they found out about you being gay. And just think about the basketball team. I mean, imagine how quickly they'll drop you and stop following you the minute they find out that their captain likes dick. I mean, they don't like me. They never did. I mean, they acted like they did, but that's all that it ever was, an act. But you, you need your teammates. You need your friends. Kyle and Tristan, they're not going to want anything to do with you. Your best friend, Eric, he will block you from his life. You have friends, family, and a life to lose. You will basically have nobody. I mean, the all-American boy, right? The class president, captain of the basketball team, prom king, the role model son that every parent wants will be destroyed in an instant. So yeah, believe me when I say, I have all the leverage. No. no, please stop. Please stop coming towards me. Please stop. Do it. That's right. I own you now. Don't you forget it. Take it.
that somebody always calls at dinner? James tonight? Sure, honey. I'm so glad you two have become so close. He needs a friend now. That's right. I do need a friend. I'll see you tonight. Let's say 10 o'clock. Hey, come back and finish your dinner. What the hell's gotten into him lately? Girl troubles, maybe? Molly, he would probably open up to you sooner than he would me. Would you talk to him? I'll try, Mom. He keeps pushing me away. On time. Where are your parents? Dad finally moved out today, and Mom's over some random dude's house, so we have the house to ourselves. And how long is this going on for? Oh, Sean, you don't have to worry. It's only just till we go back to school. And what if I say no? I can always deny what you said about me, and who do you think they're gonna believe more? Me or you? Like you said, I'm more popular than you are. Come on inside. Something I need to show you. I'm fine right here. Nah, you're really gonna want to see this. Try anything, I'll scream. It won't be necessary. Let's take a look at that. They can deny all you want, but what's that say? Picture's worth a thousand words. Why? Why me? Why are you doing this? Honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't even know when this all began. I guess I've always had urges. The truth be told, I love it. Having all the power. Especially when I get to bring people like you under my control. Nothing more than taking somebody all the way from the top, all the way down to their knees. But I liked you. I really liked you. And I can't believe you're doing this to me after I tried to be your friend. I didn't need friends. That's why I never had any. It was my dad that had to pull all these strings to get me on the basketball team I didn't want to be on just to make me more normal, and it didn't fucking work. I'm a fucked up person. And anybody I get close with just gets caught in my web, and that's that. There's more copies of that that's not gonna do you any good. Here. Are you the gay? No. Not really. I mean, I don't like girls any more than I like boys, but it's like I told you before. I'm attracted to the power. Now take off your clothes. Hey, come over. I need you. Bend over. Get on your knees. I own you. Good boy. Take it. You belong to me now.
Sean, are you in there? Yeah. You're supposed to be taking Hayden to a soccer game. Sean! You're supposed to leave like now. What are you doing in there? What's wrong with your face? Nothing. It's just allergies. Well, are you able to take your sister or not? I've got a conference call in ten minutes. Yeah, and I, I just need a few minutes. All right, well, you need to leave in two minutes. Okay, Mom, I got okay? it. Okay, I'll get you some allergy medication if you need it. Thank you. Okay, two minutes. Are you not going to stay? I didn't know I was supposed to. Didn't know I had to ask. You're right. I'm sorry. I do want to stay and watch. Can you at least tell me what's going on? I promise I won't tell Mom. I don't understand. You can at least give me a chance. I will. Just... Not today. Whatever. What's up, man? Good to see you. What are you doing here? I mean, you remember I have a younger sister too, right? Sorry. Dumb question. So, uh, what happened the other day, man? You and James have a good conversation? What? Well, you know, I mean, you guys never showed up to the court, so I figured, you know, you guys went off, did your own thing together. We did not go off and do our own thing. We're not friends, and we're not gay, so stop trying to push us together. Please, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know what's been going on with you lately, man. I stopped by your house the other day. Your mom said there was something going on with you. Molly's been texting me. You're pushing away the people that actually care about you, man, and soon you're not going to have anybody. Who says I need anyone? So it's like that? Change your mind, you know how to find it. Yep. So you're gonna make varsity in your sophomore year, you think? Coach says I stand a good chance. I didn't make it to my junior year. That's amazing. I'm proud of both my girls. Doesn't matter who got what fast, sir. I'm proud of all my children, all your accomplishments in sports, and everything else that you do. Oh, yeah. Mr. King Basketball over there. I haven't touched a basketball in over a year. Why is that? <sighs> Let me guess, that's James calling. Honey, you have to tell her not to be calling at dinner anymore. Why can't he ever wait for you to call back? It's so important all the time. so strangely. I don't like him. <sighs> what do you mean you don't like him? You hang out with him all the time. Yeah, because you told me to. Hold it right there, mister. I never forced you into anything. I never 
I only asked you to keep an eye on, for, on him because he's going through a rough time. I never said to ignore your friends, or us for that matter. Did something happen between you two? Did, did no. he do something to you? Nothing happened. Sean, I know that something's wrong. I feel like James has something to do with it. Jesus, Mom, nothing is going on. Just leave me the hell alone. Sean. Just stay what? here. Sean. Sean, just talk to me. What is going on? It's Molly. Can we talk, please? You know, we can talk about anything and I'll just listen. I won't say anything. I'll just listen, if that's what you need. Sean, I'm not going anywhere. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Just, just sit down on the bed, okay? Please don't touch okay. me! sister may forgive you, but don't forget about your mom. How disappointed she'll be. Sean? How did you know to ask if I was gay? Sean, I kind of always knew. Am I not obvious? No, not at all. I'm your sister. I call it sibling intuition, if you want. You're the same Sean who used to sneak into my room late at night and gossip about friends and school. You're the same Sean who's always worn his heart on his sleeve and stood by this family no matter what. Sean, you're no different for telling me that you're gay. You're my little brother and my best friend. And nothing in this world will ever change that. I'm in for a hug now. Like that, yeah. <laughs> I love you, little brother. I love you too, big sis. <sighs> Have you told anyone else besides me? Oh, 
Why is that? I can't. Not yet. You know who I think can help even more than me? Mom. I know she'll be okay with it. And she can probably help you with whatever else is going on. Can you please just let me tell her when I'm ready? Of course. In the meantime, I'm here. And if James hurt you in any way, I'm going to kick his ass. Did you guys see what he just... Uh, did you guys see what I just did? Open up! Please open up! Why did you let it get this far? Your soul belongs to me. Okay, so what is our first step on our quest to help this man? Does anyone remember? The Parks and Recreation Equipment Requisition Form. Correct. Five points for Hufflepuff. Well, everything's paperless now, and none of us has a login, so we can't access Here, the please. computers. Hang on. I have one right here. Hey. Thanks to Leslie. <sighs> Couldn't sleep. Why's that? Because there's a child of mine who won't tell me what's going on in his life. I guess I deserve that. You ready to tell me? I'm gay. What's that? I couldn't hear you. I'm gay. Uh, I swear, you're gonna have to speak up. I swear your mom will. Mom, I'm gay. Jeez, you don't have to yell. Your sister's already asleep. Like, I'm really just fine. Then why did you make me repeat myself? Because you sounded ashamed when you really shouldn't. You're not upset at me. Baby, why would I be upset with you? I don't know. I just heard so many stories of parents hating their kids from what I just said. I love you no matter what. And who you love is none of my business. As long as you still give me grandchildren. Oh, come on, I'm not even dating yet. You're already asking about grandkids. Is this what's been bothering you for the last week? 
pretty much. I'm gonna ask, how long have you known? I don't know. A couple years. I just didn't know how to tell you. Did you suspect that I was? I suspected, but I figured that you'd come to me when the time was ready. How did you suspect it? Call it mother's intuition. Jesus. Everyone has their intuitions about me. So, let me ask him. What else is going on? What do you mean? I'm not an idiot, Sean. This last week you've been really upset, and if you've been pondering coming out for years, then it's something else. And my gut tells me that somehow that James is involved. You better not tell her, or else everybody's gonna find out about you. I'll tell everyone that you're the one that came on to me first, and then once word gets around, your college is gonna kick you out, no job will ever hire you, and your family's gonna disown you forever. I will make your life a living hell. Sean. What is James doing to you? Go ahead, Sean. I dare you. This is your defining moment. Sean, are you even listening to me? He's threatening to out. <laughs> is that why you're telling me? are not going to lose anyone in this family, okay? If your father were here, he would hold you and he would tell you how much he loves you. And your friends are your friends for a reason, okay? If they have a problem with you being gay, then they are not worth having as friends. Thanks, Mom. I'm sorry for being an asshole this week. Oh, God. Sean. That's why God invented wine. For mothers of overdramatic to gay teenage sons. Oh, I have a gay son. The bitches in the salon are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Wait until I tell them. Would you please let me come out to my friends before you go telling the rest of the town? Of course, honey. But you should be able to come out and tell when you're ready. Not because of the asshole next door. By the way, is he even gay? No. No, he's not. Not at all. You know, the next time I see him, I am going to shove my foot off so far up his ass, he's actually going to become gay. No. I don't think it works that way. And would you please just let me deal with James? If anything happens to my baby boy, the mama bear is coming after. You got it? I got it. <laughs> hey, Mom. Yeah? How did you know Dad would still love me? Because I knew him more than anyone, and he knew and suspected long before I did. Call it father's intuition. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. One thing I want you to remember about me after I pass away is how proud I am of the man that you've become, even at your age now. I know your mother and your sisters will be in good hands with you by their side. What if I'm not strong enough? That's not even an issue. You're stronger than you think. And when things get bad, and they will get bad, my son, I know deep in your heart you'll have the strength to be able to take care of your friends and your family. I promise I'll try my best. You don't need to promise. I already believe you'll know what to do when the time comes. I love you.
That didn't take long now, did it? You know me too well. What's up, bud? I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, man. What do you need? I need you to gather up the team for me. The whole team? Everyone except James. All right, man. Uh, give me like, uh, like an hour. Most of the guys probably aren't even awake yet. Okay. Um, hey, Eric. Thank you. No problem, bud. Later. Today's a new day. Good night's sleep, I take it. Yeah, really good night's sleep. <laughs> hey, where are you off to so fast? Hot date? Oh, yeah, it's really hot. Nice shoulders, cooler smile, athletic. You jealous? <laughs> Am I missing something here? <laughs> Your brother's gay. Oh, that's a good way to come out. Wait, Sean's gay? Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah, I can't wait to tell all my friends. I'm gonna be like the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Everyone? Mostly everyone. Uh, two of the guys are on vacation. Take it or leave them in. No, no, thank you. This is great. So, why have you gathered us here, oh great one? Okay, um, I have something to tell you guys and it's not gonna be easy. Dude, just say it. How hard can it be? Okay. MK. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry if I ever joked too much and made you uncomfortable. Dude, it's fine. You were just being you. Cool. My cousin Isaac is gay, so. Great. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah, why is that? You playing hard to get and all. Turns out I just didn't have the right equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, on a serious note, forget about James, alright? He's not gonna get to you without having to go through us first. Yeah, fuck that little bitch, yeah? <laughs> okay, well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate hearing you guys say that. So. You got your back, bro. You can be the popular guy, be team captain, and like guys too. Well, that means a lot, especially coming from you. I got a friend Kyle who's gay. Yeah? Well, 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 look who finally answers the goddamn phone. You know how pissed off what I am? What do you want? I want you to come over. Now. Mmm, it's a nice day out. Why don't we meet up at the park again? Sounds exciting. I expect you to be on your way soon. You got it. I like the adventurous setting you chose. This ends now. I don't think you're in any position to make a comment like that. You do know I'll tell everyone. I already told him. Told them what? I told them that I'm gay. I told my mom. I told my sisters. And I told the entire basketball team. Guess what? None of them care. You were wrong. 
Well, look at you, all out and proud. So it doesn't change shit between us. He said, stop right there. I like it when you try to resist. Huh? Oh. Imagine what everybody's gonna say when they find out about this. I open up to you about my parents' divorce and this is how you respond? By attacking me? All eyes are gonna be right back on you. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, dude. <laughs> All right, look, look, I don't know what he's been telling you, but you know he's been manipulating you for years, right? Oh, oh shut up already. Just walk away, James. Leave us alone, that's all you have to do. Yeah, and then you, Sean, you get to remain the all-American boy. No, I get to remain myself. At least the parts you haven't taken away from me. Sean, buddy, I think you should go. Probably don't want to see this. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Eric. Your best friend's the best little bitch I ever had. <laughs> yep, we got it. Hey, Dad. It's me, Sean. Although I'm sure you're probably watching me right now. I just wanted to say that I miss you. And that despite everything that's happened this week, I still hope to make you proud. Not a day goes by where I don't think that this make my dad proud of me. Maybe that's why it took me so long to come out. Because just as I started to realize it, you left us. And I was always afraid you would look down on me in disappointment. It wouldn't matter how good my grades were, or how many hoops I shot, I was still always afraid of what you would think of me. But I think now I have my answer. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being a good father for me and my sisters. Thank you for being a good husband for mom. Thank you for being the role model I needed to know what kind of man to become, no matter who I like. I love you. Today things got a whole lot better. bottom of things before we start calling anyone names. For all we know, James could have done this. <laughs> My son doesn't start fights. Yeah, he's too much of a pussy. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? You and your friends jump James because he's not the popular kid, he's not the coolest kid. Jesus Christ, Margot, calm down. Let's get to the bottom of things. Sean, did you and your friends do this to James? Yes, but mom. <laughs> yes, him and his hooligan friends are a bunch of monsters and we're gonna press Sean, charges. Why would you do this? You know it's not right. Your son was threatening to out him to everyone. I know it doesn't make up for what he did, but put him in a difficult position. <laughs> really? 
It's not an excuse to mangle his face. James raped me. What did you say? James has been raping me every day, sometimes twice a day for the last week. The first night we hung out together, I told him that I liked him and he used that to take advantage of me. And he said that if I told anyone, he was gonna out me and I felt so trapped, I did this to try to escape. Oh my God, Sean. James, is this true? Well, he was telling me that he loved me and shit, it was- ah! Stop it. You're no son of mine. Let I didn't raise go. no faggot. Stop. Hey, you're hurting Stop him. Stop it or I will call the police. Not so tough now, are you, big guy? Let him go. Go. <laughs> James is there. What did you do that for? You were hurting him. So are we not bad parents? That's it. I'm done with him. He's your mess now. Yeah. Go. It's your fault anyway, you piece of shit drunk. You never there. Go. Whatever, whore. No. Okay. Wait, 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 where are you going? I'm going to find James. Why? He hurt you. Because it's the right thing to do. you tell us? You knew we would have helped you. I was scared. I was scared of what would happen and what everyone would think of me. Sean, you would never lose us. Oh God, the police shoot him. Better yet, I hope he gets raped in jail. Molly, don't even say that. James is going to pay for what he did, and he's got a long time to sit in jail and think about it. I couldn't stop thinking about what happened when I found him. Part of me thought that he would hurt me for what I said, and another part of me thought that he would apologize and finally try to seek help, but... In the back of my mind, I thought it'd be easiest if I found him and he already hurt himself, and I feel so bad for even thinking that. Sean, I can't imagine what you're going through. Nobody can blame you for your thoughts. But it just goes to show that you're a better person for going out and looking for him. And true evil couldn't even kill the good in you. Mm. All right, go take a shower, because you stink. <laughs> and the police are going to want to talk to you in the morning. OK. okay. Thanks, Mom. You really went looking for me. James, how did you get in here? I never left. You mean you've been waiting for me up here the whole time? Honestly, I don't know why I came up here. Police would have arrested me. My father would have just killed me. Though I am curious what you would have done. If you found me, I would have talked to an attorney yourself in. Do you think I'm sick? Do you really think I can be fixed? I think you need help. I think you can get it. You think I feel bad about what I did? You tell me. No, I'm asking you. Do you think I feel bad? about what I did. Deep down, I think you feel bad, yes. I don't 
don't feel anything. I don't feel good about what I did. But I don't feel bad. I feel nothing. How much have you had to drink? Whatever this is. Plus some pain meds I found in your parents' bathroom. Had your mom's name on them. Those are roughly had her wisdom teeth out. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Soon, I'll fall asleep. And hopefully, never wake up. How about you had? Oh, I don't? gonna pull the trigger. Too much of a pussy. I'll just wait for the booze and pills to kick in. So what's the point of killing yourself here in my room? I don't want to die alone. James, sit here and hold me hostage while you slowly die. Hello? Anyone there? <clears throat> Do you remember that first night that you stayed over my house? I've been trying to forget it ever since. Police are on their way. The first thing I wanted to do was just hold you. Get in the bed. Please. Okay, now what? <clears throat> oh, I just want to hold you. Until I fall asleep. That's all. What's the point of killing yourself in my bed? That's what you want. You said, I heard you downstairs, you said, it would have been easier if you just found me dead. You said that. What did you expect me to say after what you did to me? James, don't do that. You don't want to do that. Listen, I'm going to put my gun away, okay? Don't do anything. I'm just putting my gun away, okay? Look, I'll put my other hand up. I just want to talk to you. No, no, no. Bullshit. You're going to take me to jail or I'm going to ride and die. Just let me do this. Nobody wants you to die, James. James, I don't want you to die. No! I don't want anything bad to happen to you. You still be my friend? Yes. Zuppa, no! Mom, no! Trust me. Even after all that I did? James, you hurt me, but I don't want to see you suffer. James, you hurt me and I can't forget that. But I know you need help, and I promise you right now, if you go get the help you need, I will forgive you, and I will be your friend, and I will
will come see you wherever you end up. James Reese, you're under arrest. James, keep your hands up for me. There you go. Good job. Nice and easy. Step off the bed for me. Go shoot some hoops with the guys. That's great. Don't forget you have an appointment with Dr. Sawyer this afternoon. I won't, Mom. Okay. Oh, Thanks. Have fun. So things are back to normal, would you say? In some aspects, yes. Which aspects? I feel like I have my friends and my family back. I guess be myself again. I see. And how about your panic attacks? I still have them, but they're less and less. I've been practicing those breathing techniques you taught me. Good. That's really good. It seems like you have a positive outlook. You're not letting the trauma of your past control your daily life. I didn't like the person that I became when I was going through all that. I don't ever want to be that person again. So? Ready for your first real date tonight? We're just watching fireworks from the bridge and getting ice cream. Wait, why did I not know anything about this? We just started up this morning. I don't even think it's an official date. And how did you meet this boy? Well, he's Kyle's cousin of all people. Hopefully he has more personality and brain cells than Kyle. Yeah, this pizza has more personality than Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my baby boy's going out on his first date. <laughs> Mom, stop. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> what about your first visit with James yesterday at the hospital? How did that go? I can't keep hiding for the rest of my life. Now I know why everyone calls you the All-American Boy. You just always inspire everyone around you. Just gotta take things one day at a time. That's really good. I'll be right here when you're done. Before your visit, you learned from the detectives that James had finally admitted that he was raped when he was a child by another family member. Do you think that helps you understand where his darkness might have come from? Oh, it didn't make anything easier, it just made it more sad. I feel bad for him and everything that he went through, but I also went through something and I'm having a hard time finding the middle ground. I want to have the best life I can without panic attacks and nightmares, but I know that I can help James and that makes me feel better. But like you said, I can't let my past trauma stop me from being the best version of myself. You're only one grade above me, but I don't ever remember seeing you in classes before. Yeah, I was the quiet kid in class. Didn't like too much attention brought on to myself. Ask anyone I graduated with if they knew anything about Isaac Leahy, and I guarantee you they would respond with, Oh, who? <laughs> well, I wish I could say the same. Oh yeah, everybody knew who you were. Even being a great above you, everybody's still talking about you. Great, that's just great. <laughs> Wait, so, did you know who I was? Are you kidding me? Between all my friends talking about you, the coaches talking about you, and 
even Kyle raving about you at family dinner. How could I not know you? Well, I hope I live up to your expectations. You know I even came to a couple of your games once? Watched you play? You came just to see me play? Of course. I'd see for myself about this great all-American boy I kept hearing about. You know, you're pretty normal being friends with Kyle, too. Yeah, well, you're pretty normal for being related to him. Oh, touche. I guess we can't trash talk him too much, though. Especially since I'm having a really good time hanging out with you. You are? Sorry, I... I have never been on a date with another... You know, guy before. I honestly wasn't sure how I was doing. You're doing just fine. Good. I guess I can relax then, since the pressure's off. Is there some other side of you that you're hiding from me? No. No, I think actually for the first time I get to be myself. You weren't yourself before. I was always this ideation of what I thought everyone wanted me to be. And it turns out everyone just wanted me to be happy, so... I finally get to do that. Well, I'm happy I get to be the first person you truly get to be. You truly get to be yourself around. I consider it an honor. Oh, hold on. Oh. <coughs> what, you don't like my goofball? Oh, I like the way you look. I like it a lot. Um. I'm, I'm sorry, I... I no, I'm... I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I don't know if Kyle ever told you about what happened to me. He, he did. I'm so sorry. I just messed this all up. Didn't I? No, 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 you didn't mess anything up. Just work with me. Please. Whenever you're ready. I think you're worth it. Why don't we start with this? Alright, enough about me. I want to learn more about you. One last question. How have you been sleeping? Falling for me 
to this day I don't know how I think about it constantly I promise I won't let you down But when I asked you told me yes To be in mine forevermore All I can offer is my best Through the good and bad, through rich and dress on with that white dress on you look more beautiful than anyone I've known than anyone I've Sinking into you just like 